Hello, and welcome to Road to Roachport, the monthly update on the Lance Corporal Leon DeRapp's I-70 Missouri River Bridge. In this month's edition, we'll be talking with Mike Shoup, the construction and materials engineer for this project. My name is Mike Shoup. I'm the project director with MoDOT for the Missouri River Bridge, uh, Roachport Bridge Replacement, uh, here in the Boone Cooper County lines. Uh, in the background, you can see we have the current westbound lane a westbound bridge that is open with both east and westbound traffic uh, on it as we're constructing the new eastbound bridge. Anytime you get to work on a project of this magnitude, just the sheer size of it is just impressive. You know, everything is bigger. Uh, you know, we, we do a lot of bridge replacements in the state of Missouri every year. We just don't do a lot of this side. During January, we've been working on all our bents. You know, we start on this end, on the west end of the bridge, that's bent one, and it goes all the way through bent 16. We've been working on these. We have the, the bridge that actually is divided into three spans, unit one, unit two, and unit three. Uh, currently, right now, we're setting girders on unit two. We hope to finish unit two girder setting this week. We'll continue working on unit one, uh, which we've been working on unit one and unit two as far as putting the, the pipe piling in uh, through the month of January. We've got that completed, and now we're working on uh, getting the caps in place so we can set the girders. We had that cold spell in January, so you know, it was just really dangerous conditions as far as uh, the wind chills and uh, just really, really cold. So we shut down for two or three days at a time, depending on what conditions we had. Uh, we know, we, you know we're all about safety. We want our guys going home safe. And it, we weren't pouring any concrete just due to the cold conditions. So we probably lost a week to week and a half just due to those weather conditions. We picked it up here in the first part of February. February weather has been really, really good. So uh, we're making really good progress now. These, spring-like temperatures, uh, we're seeing a lot of progress each day. So we'll continue on in February, like I said, setting these girders. We'll finish uh, span two this week, then we'll continue working on span one, or unit one. We probably won't get unit one done by the end of February, but I look to us have it done by mid to late March. Uh, having all those girders set, we'll start decking units one and units two, and then we'll start working on unit three out in the river. Our girders come just 30 miles west of here, so we bring them in, we have them staged up there off site, they're actually on site, but out of our way. We get them all ready to, you know, we put our uh, our cable stay on it, so you know we can put a cable on so the guys can tie off when they're setting those girders. They'll have them ready to pick, they'll pull the, the trucks up here, cranes hook them from both sides, they'll pick them up, set them into place, and they'll secure them uh, in between the caps with the diaphragm so it all acts as one unit, so we don't have any concerns about the girder falling down. Uh, it takes about oh six hours to set six girders. Uh, you know, we it's, it's constant rotation. We get four trucks in with four girders, and then the first two trucks will go back and get the second, the last two girders. And it's just a continuous operation until we get uh, try to get a span done per day. So unit one and unit two are all concrete girders, and we'll put a concrete deck on top of that. When you get to unit three out there across the river, you can see all those are steel girders. That's the structural steel we're talking about. So, due to the fact that the spans get so much longer out across the river, that's the reason we have to go to steel, so we can get so much depth. The, the concrete girders are only six foot high. The steel girders is, are as much as 12 to 13 foot tall, just so we can get more of a span out there across the, the main river channel. So, that's all the structural steel that we'll be doing, uh, which is actually composed of from span uh, bit 11 to bit 16, which consists of unit three of the deck, of the bridge. Once we get all that structural steel set, we'll continue on just like we did on unit one and unit two, uh, setting the decking and then pouring the concrete slab that goes on top of it. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to MoDOT Central Missouri District on social media for content on this project and more. Until next time, stay safe. Remember to buckle up and put your phones down.